Healing from the trauma of growing up in a dysfunctional family is never a linear process. Even when you've moved out and begin to embrace adulthood, memories might still linger when you see other families out in public or watch a movie that really hits home. Whether the wounds are fresh and deep or things are finally looking up but you still have a few loose strings to tie, we want you to know that it's okay to still hurt. What's most important is to keep going and live each day to the best of your ability. Here are five ways to recover from toxic families. 1. Get rid of belongings that trigger painful memories. When you first move out, it might be painful to unpack your boxes. Take your time, even if it means waiting it out the first few weeks. Realize that there's no rush. If it helps, have your partner or friend assist you. When you're ready, grab a large trash bag and get rid of possessions that bring up bad times. This may include photos, gifts, and sentimental items. We also recommend that you wash all your clothes, pillowcases, and blankets to get rid of any familiar sense of family members. Sights, sounds, and smells all evoke our most emotionally charged memories. 2. Replace old negative thoughts with self-awareness. The brain loves patterns, which is why even the most destructive habits can be hard to break free from. People who were verbally, emotionally, and or physically abused by a family member often grow up with image and low self-esteem issues. Even after you move out and limit the amount of time you see your family, when you look in the mirror, you may view yourself the same way your toxic family members did. Realize that the ways you've been mistreated do not equate to your sense of self-worth. Become self-aware when you begin to fall back on negative thinking. This will help you become more accepting of your flaws, talents, and potential. 3. Know that you deserve better and spend time with people who support you. After traumatic events, your first instinct might be to curl up in a ball and retreat from the world. You may feel emotionally drained and exhausted from fighting back tears while getting used to a new routine. Anxiety and depression will follow after you've endured years of childhood abuse, but it's crucial to reach out and let your friends, co-workers, and lover know that you need them more than ever. Initially, you might feel embarrassed and even ashamed, but know that what happened in the past wasn't your fault. 4. Talk to your doctor about treatment options. Make an appointment and tell them what's been going on in your life. Even though they aren't psychologists, they usually know someone they can refer you to. People often have the misconception that psychotherapy is expensive, but it depends on how frequently you plan to visit your psychologist and whether they accept your health insurance. Antidepressants are also something worth looking into. Ask your doctor about what your options are and keep an open mind about them. It might take a few tries before finding something that helps, but work is always required in the process of recovery. The best part is knowing that you're not alone, and there are people around you to seek professional advice from. 5. Realize that your future isn't dictated by your past. You're safe now. You've managed to break free, and now you're somewhere else. Sometimes, if we're lucky, after we leave, our family members will no longer have the power to control, manipulate, and hurt us, and this will encourage them to reflect how their actions have affected you. A chance still stands for them to seek professional help and fix their toxic behavior. But sometimes, we also don't always get the closure we want in life. Recognize how far you've come, and everything you've endured up to this point. Just when you think you couldn't hold on anymore, you did. You made it. The rest of your life is up to you now. Did you grow up in a toxic family? What are some struggles you're going through to recover? We want to be here to help you heal and move forward. Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. Thanks for watching! Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!